In a previous video, I added Xdebug to my Docker container running the Xdebug website. Today we're going to have a look at setting up profiling in my Docker container. Right now it's still running with just debugging, but let's go change that. First of all, let's have a look at our Xdebug configuration file. At the moment, its mode is set to develop, debug. If we want to do profiling, we need to replace that with profile. However, having to change the ini file every single time we want to change the mode is not very convenient because it requires rebuilding our Docker container. Instead, we're going to rely on another Xdebug feature, which is to be able to override Xdebug's mode with an environment variable. PHP itself also supports that, but we're not going to make use of this feature because with Xdebug you can actually override the mode as set in the ini file. In order to do that, we need to change our docker compose file to add our environment variable. We inject the xdebug underscore mode environment variable into our docker container with the same name. We can see with docker compose config what the actual values are being used when starting our docker container. It immediately shows a warning that the xdebug mode variable is not set and it's defaulting to an empty string, which is what you can see here. An empty string is a problem, so we need to create a sensible default. You do that by creating a .env file. In this .env file you can set your default. In this case, I'm going to set it to develop and debug. Now let's run docker compose config again to see what it now sees. It now indeed sees develop, debug. We can start our Docker container with our default configuration of develop and debug by running docker compose up. When we request a page in our browser, nothing will happen and on the command line, you will see the following error message saying that could not connect to debugging client. And that is of course, because we don't have a debugging client in my case, PHP storm running. This shows that it is running with our default settings. Now let's start our Docker container with profiling enabled instead. We do that by prefixing our Docker compose command by setting an environment variable. When we now request a page in our browser, we'll see in our command line that nothing is happening. But how do we find out what Xdebug has actually done? Xdebug tree has a feature called Xdebug info that will tell you exactly which settings have been made and what Xdebug has tried to do. The hmlrouter.php file is my main entry point into the application. By running Xdebug info, we'll now get extra information about what Xdebug is trying. We start a Docker container again. When we request a page in a browser, we now get extra information. It tells you Xdebug's version and which modes have been enabled. It will also tell you how these modes have been enabled, in this case through our Xdebug underscore mode environment variable. We can see that the profiler is indeed enabled. It also tells us that the profile file that we have created is tmp out.11. Let's see whether that file exists. As you can see, there are no cache grind files whatsoever. This is because the cache grind file has been created into our Docker container. We need to create a different mapping inside Docker so that we can export the files that Xdebug has created to be analyzed outside of our Docker container. Let's stop the Docker container again. For this to work, we need to make two settings. First of all, we need to instruct Xdebug to create files in a different directory, and secondly, we need to bind this new location through Docker Compose. Let's first change it on the Xdebug side. I'm using the directory tmp docker xdebug. In our Docker Compose file, we also need to bind this data now. The source is the path that we have on our local file system, where I will use the exact same name as inside our Docker container. We of course need to make sure that the directory actually exists. We need to make sure that our directory exists.
and that everybody has write access to it. Now let's rebuild our Docker container. Now that we have built it, we can start a container again, making sure that we also have profiling enabled. Let's switch back to our browser and re-request the page. It now says it has created temp docker xdebug cache grindoutten which also corresponds to a file on our local file system of the same name. Let's have a look what's in that file. In this case, it has indeed created a profile file for us on our local file system which we can now analyze with kcachegrind or qcachegrind. I am leaving the analysis of profile files to a future video.